Hello, everyone. My name is Alina, and these are the first boots that were ever made by my design. They are light, colorful, ladies' summer boots. However, they suit more for my cat as a sleeping carpet than the boots that you could comfortably walk in. Now, since those first boots were made, in the recent time, I created the first design footwear label in the Baltic states, Zofa Handmade Footwear. And now I have my shoes selling in London, in Moscow, in Germany, and in Japan. And here you see Latvian music band instrumenti jumping high on the stage because their feet feel free in my shoes. I am an architect, and I know that every building needs a solid construction. So when I was in Caribbean, I took this photo of this fisherman house. Though the weather seemed calm and peaceful, actually the storm can tear this building very fast apart. But the buildings can be built back fast again because of those strong pile foundations that goes deep into the seabed. And this is the construction site of the Shanghai Olympic Stadium, known as the Bird's Nest. And um, it gathered 91,000 people for the Olympic Games. And when I look at this amazing architecture, I always wonder, could the foundations be as beautiful as the upper ground architecture? And this is a nest my father built by his own hands, putting the foundations together brick by brick. This is my hand. And when I decided to become an architect, I knew that one day I'm going to build something with my hands. So I can do a lot of things with my hands. I can sew, I can cut and spike a hole if it's needed. And actually, the whole graphic identity of Zofa is made so that the final touch I have to do by myself, by my own hands. So actually, the combination of the production, of the handmade production and the design defines the design of the shoe more than you could imagine. So here, look at the heel of the shoe. It is made from those small pieces of leather that are cut out from these very huge sole leather bands. They are grinded, then they are glued and pressed together. And that is the advantage of the handmade process that I always try to express in my design. When I design, I like to play. And one day, I took those two shoes and I put them together like that. And this is the pro project I'm working on at the moment. And as I played, <laughs> this is the, how I present my shoes. This is a kind of a choreography for dancing shoes with no live person on the stage. Because if you put a live person on the stage, the attention will always be on the body. And as I played, I understood that every shoe I design solves a problem. You see, the men are really choosy about their shoes. They don't like laces nor zippers. So I created this shoe with only one rubber string. The shoe is made out of the finest leather with the most flexible and lightest leather sole. So you can put the shoe very easily on and you barely feel, feel it afterwards on your feet. So I want to share with you three stories. And the first story is about believing in what you do. This is Wolfgang. I met him in Riga as he came to visit me on my first um, atelier of Zofa, which was located in the architecture studio of mine. And 
Wolfgang is a kind of person with this huge personality and a very kind of huge style. And um, he looked at my first collection and he said, your shoes rock. They are footloose and fancy free. I take them all. And I kind of didn't understood what, what is he wants to say, but he bought the shoes and he took them to the, his gallery in Hamburg and that's the moment I started to believe. The second story is about communication and the importance of networking. Um, Kazuko and Mr. Hirokara. We met in Tokyo in this splendid cafe in the, the excellent district of Tokyo, Harajuku. So the, da the day is dark and the couple comes in all dressed up, so bright and colorful, and the Kazuko has this like excellent makeup. She had these blue dots on her eyelids. We had a cup of tea, and she says, um, may I try on your boots, the boots that I have on me? which is kind of not usual for the Japanese culture. She tried my boots, but I was amazed when instead she offered me to try her boots on. <laughs> and the third story is about trusting your inner voice, your intuition. So I'm organizing the party for my atelier opening. And I decided to grab the people attention and I put those black heavy curtains outside in front of the building on the facade. And here I see a red Lexus car drives, stops, and drives backwards. And the typical businessman in the black suit and glasses comes straight to my door. He says, um, what is this place, and may I come in? And, and I'm like, yes, of course, and we go in, and I show him the shop, the atelier part, and the production part, which is bright and tidy, because I believe that the shoes should be made in these kind of elegant and peaceful circumstances. He buys the shoes, he stays for the party, and he says, I'm shocked, never in my life have I kind of let myself uh, to react so instinctively. And this, and this is then when I understand that I trust my intuition and how many are those moments in our lives when we kind of stop and listen to our inner voice. Thank you. Thank you.